good morning. It is 7.46 and it's a beautiful day. We leave Joshua Tree in about an hour and we head to the Redwoods. It's gonna be immense. I just woke up and I slept like an absolute log in the bottom of a river. Brushing my teeth. Hello everyone. Um, since we're just driving today, uh, I've got plenty of time to think about random things. And I asked Leah a question and she didn't know the answer. Which never happens. That never happens. And I want to know if there's anybody out there who actually watches this. How do you buy a yacht? I'm not going to buy a yacht. I'm not in the market for one. I probably never will be. But suppose someone wanted to buy a yacht, right? Do you... You can't just, like, pull one with your truck. You know, they're big. So do they deliver it to you? Like, to your body of water of choice? And another thing... Where do you go to look at yachts? Like, is there just like, are there big yacht stores? Or, like I assume they don't have the wa yachts already in the water because that gets them all, you know, all with barnacles and stuff, right, Leah? Like there would be stuff on them if they just had their showcase yachts in the water. I have never been to a yacht showcase. So Me either, I so I don't know how they, if anybody knows things about yachts, please comment or um, if you can't comment, make a video in response to this video, and I'll look it up in like a week, um, and title the video, Response to Thick Joppy's Yacht Question. Did you want to say something, Leah? Again, this is, um, not super pertinent information to us, considering we'll never be in a position to buy a yacht, but... I, it's just my curiosity is all it is. I don't actually, but yeah... I want to reiterate the fact that I'm never going to be able to buy a yacht unless it's, like, given to me or, like, some guy's, like, joking around and be like, hey, want to buy this for a dollar? Or and I'd maybe be like, in the new creation. Possibly in the new creation. If, uh, I mean, I assume there's going to be some sweet bodies of water in the new creation and perhaps, you know, we could have yacht parties with all of our eternally living redeemed friends so it's fantastic that's after my meeting with my new testament class we've already scheduled we do have reunion. a meeting we do have a new testament class reunion uh dr williams slash j willie if you're somehow watching <laughs> this video we can't wait for our reunion and the new creation that's going to be a blast and then I'm going to build a, a, a path that goes around the entire world in the new creation. It's going to be the most epic walking slash running slash biking path there's ever been. This is, the subject has totally changed from yachts to new creation. But uh, yeah, that's something that I want to do because I can't be a pastor in the new creation. Because if people want to learn about Jesus, they'll just go talk to Jesus. So I'm like, well, I'll need something to do. So I'm going to build a walking path slash running path slash biking path. It's going to be awesome. If you, if anybody wants to walk around it with me, uh, one, accept Christ so you can be there, and two, uh, yeah, you can, you'll find me up there. I'll be out and about. Excuse me. Leah's about to watch The Office, so put in the comment section below what Office character you would be. And why. And why. I'm actually about to go get Jesus. Please. I think Leah said she's Dwight. No, I'm not. Didn't you say that yesterday? No. Well. I said Dwight's my favorite. Oh. That's a big difference. Yeah. That's huge. Um. Ow. I think I'd probably be Michael because I am oftentimes awkward without even having any awareness of that. Just like him. What is up? We've got a new squad in here. It's Anna and it's Asher. Though Asher's been in here for a while. How you been doing today, Ash? I've been uh, doing uh, very, very good. Very, I've, very good. I've been, I've been in the car for about six hours. Man, I've been for about six hours. It's pretty good. And is it staying charged? Yes, sir. It's 67%. Very good. Anna? I'm good. Yeah? I'm tired. I've slept, like, the whole time here. Absolutely. Feel good to be back in the car, not in the RV? 
Oh yeah. This is where it is at. Well, I have now seen the Pacific Ocean for the first time. Uh, you can only see dirt. There it is. Oh, that's dirt again. There it is. It's pretty huge. Leo, how do you feel? 10 out of 10. Leah's seen it before, so it's not exciting for her, but... That is exciting. But I'm just saying, like, this is my first time ever seeing the Pacific Ocean. Now I know it's real. Could have been, been a fake. Could have been a myth this whole time. Everybody was just joshing me. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, it's pretty huge. Definitely. You could be joshing your video crew. I could be. I guess could be all, um, well, not Photoshop, but it, I could just be showing you a picture of any other ocean you would have no idea or big lake unless you're from california and know exactly where i am um so pacific ocean is awesome but i can post so joey doesn't really get frustrated very often because he's one of the most patient people i know and nothing really irritates him so when he gets irritated i love to just I don't know, really dwell on it because it doesn't happen very often. So, Joey, please explain to me how you feel when people say that something is their aesthetic. It, it infuriates me. I find it so irritating because nothing is your aesthetic. Like, it's just a color. Like, if, like, I love green, go stars. But that's not my, like, I would not be so pretentious to call it my aesthetic like I don't even know what that means like do you now like own some sort of right to that color scheme and like now like that just sounds so uppity and dumb like just set like make your Instagram caption like I like red you know and just leave it at that I'm tired of this whole like I'm gonna use a, a big word and I'm gonna only type things in lowercase letters you know and not use any punctuation so I can look like a hipster just stop stop it turn it off now there you have it here folks um joey does not like it when people say that something is his aesthetic leah and i are out here we have a yurt look at this place it's so nifty it's just like a little tent house we got a little tent chair bungalow that's a bungalow so we got they gave us towels towel racks we got little windows with curtains what this is awesome and little lights? How do these work? I assume you turn them on somewhere. Hey, You guys, if you want to call something your aesthetic, I can't stop you. Um, I just don't like it. But just because I like, don't, just because I don't like something doesn't mean you can't do it. You have every right. And I'm sure that I do things that you don't like. So, <laughs> we'll call it even. Leah and I are so happy that it's sweatshirt weather. Sweatshirt weather. It feels absolutely immense out here. Let's just, let me just say, it's like 60 degrees right now. And for the past like week and a half, everywhere we've been has been like 90 plus. We woke up this morning at 7.30 Sweating. a.m. It was awful. It was like 80 degrees. Yeah. And now that it's 60, there's a breeze coming off the Pacific. Because we're it's amazing. on the West Coast. Hashtag West Coast, best coast. Hashtag not really, but kind of because I'm here. It's amazing. We're super jazzed. Big shout out, Braden Miller, who's soon to be joining us on the Out West trip, who also eats his sunflowers with the shell still on them. And I guess Asher does too, but I don't know if he's genuine. Hit that orange justice, Asher. <laughs> that makes three people, so I'm definitely not alone. Shiloh and Toon are out here playing the matching game. It's okay, he's just mixing them up, Shy. Oh, trying to make them fall. Hey, Kelly, you us? They're gonna beat me if I play, but let's go, anyways. Yep. We are out here Everybody at the campfire. Thank you. Be careful. I want my own one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to make this circle it. bigger. This is amazing. I like this. Shy, do you like the fire? Yes. Logie. It's here. Hello. Good game of NHL. Good Look game. At this. Me too. He beat me Mom. seven to three. Mom. Ooh, a roasting Mom. stick. Welp, I'm just chilling by this little fire. Waiting on Leah to finish in the bathrooms. This campground is super nice. And 
we're getting ready to go to bed, and we are very happy that we are not sleeping on an inflatable mattress for the next few nights. So, feels like we're in the lap of luxury. But that's it for today. See you all tomorrow.